hello guys welcome back today we are going to understand today lead code questions so let's understand today lead code question so today we have uh, this as parallel matrix right so as you can see right uh, we have given positive integers n right and we have given uh, we have to generate n cross n matrix right so we have to fill the element from 1 to n square what does it mean actually so while we are filling the element right it should uh, go into a spiral order as you can see right i have uh, marked this line right so if you have already n equal to 3 means total element will be overcome 9 right and into n uh, 3 into 3 so if you will uh, going to fill the element right so you when we'll start the uh, filling the elements you have to go, the, go into the spiral order right so first we'll add uh, uh, one then you will add two then you will add three like this you have to move first you will go to this uh, direction one then you have to go to direction two then you have direction three and then direction four and then you have to repeat direction one here right like this so as you can see we have uh, filled this one element into the example one as you can see and then uh, you have to return this matrix overall like this okay if the element we have in example two we like one so we have to return there is only one uh, direction will be there so we will return one there right this question has been asked in all the interview questions so we have to uh, uh, do little hands on over this right so let's uh, understand this one so now uh, this is there is various problems that we have in this uh, spiral matrix series right so you can see there so previously uh, last day i have already uh, uploaded our spiral matrix uh, videos please watch this video so uh, in order to s uh, solve such a problem right like matrix series right the core idea is to decode the underlying pattern right so this can be done by uh, little understanding of the pattern and finding a genetic representation that could work for any given uh, num and you can say uh, given uh, number right so uh, let's understand the approach that is our approach today we have is uh, traverse layer by layer in the spiral form as you can see uh, the uh, we have gone from one and we are moving like uh, one two three four five six like so the each round as you can see we have to go like this only okay so if we try to build a pattern for a given n it will look like this only okay so what we have to observe that the pattern that repeats after completing one circular traversal around the matrix let's we can recall this as a one circular traversal as a layer right so we start traversing from of the outer layer and move uh, inside uh, like as an inner layer you can say on every iteration so first you will complete the uh, layer one right as you can see the uh, layer one is coming from here here right and it will go inside right so after completing this it will move enter into layer two right this is your layer two then we will come to layer three right means like this we will move each by each time we are going to move so what algorithm is saying that to find the number of uh, number of layers how will find our number of uh, uh, you can say uh, layers right so what you have to understand about the spiral traversal is that for any given n if there is uh, n equal to 3 right so it will become what uh, if there is a formula that is called uh, this one n plus 1 n plus 1 by 2 if you do n plus 1 by 2 it will become what 4 by 2 it it means two layers you have right for n equal to 3 right and if you have n equal to uh, this is example 1 and if you have n equal to uh, 6 it means 6 plus 1 by 2 it become 3 layers right like this so what do we have to do actually uh, for all the layers uh, for all the n you have to find the layers right so for each iteration as you can see now for each uh, uh, layers right for every layer we have to traverse at least uh, uh, four directions right so for the first direction what we have to do we will complete the uh, from left to uh, right we will come for the second uh, we'll from uh, we'll start from what top down this is the top and then we'll come to the down right then in the uh, third we'll start from right to left so we'll go to right to left and in the fourth direction will come to this way okay top and bottom to top so this four direction we have to come right as you can see here uh, the first uh, layer what we have here is uh, layer one and layer 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 will come then another will come layer and n minus layer minus one right like this will come each time right so in every direction either row or column remains constant and uh, any of this either layer or constant either of them are remain constant and uh, other parameter changes right so for this uh, if for this direction let, let's suppose we are going to from here to here right so in this what you are saying 
our row is remaining same right so here layer is remaining same right as you can see there is remaining same only from here to here what is changing changing only what this uh, value right this uh, uh, column column thing is changing each time right and we are when we reach here we'll get n minus one minus layer minus one right so uh, what we have to understand here is for every direction right either row will remain same or column will same so this is i have, I have bit we can talk about layer one right uh, direction one when we are going to direction two means we are talking about this way what we what is happening actually now this will remain same what will remain same n minus one minus layer minus one will remain same only it will change the layer plus one because this is we are we are we are at the row one now we are going to row two so this will change this will also become layer 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 uh, layer plus two layer plus three here it will come what n minus layer right layer plus one layer plus two layer plus three last in the last what will happen n minus layer but this part will remain same this part remains same similarly when coming to this direction what will happen uh, two things is going to change right we are changing this what uh, this layer because this value is nothing but our what n minus one minus layer we are talking about the this row this row right but now we have already covered this one so now we have to start from here uh, from 10 and then we will move to the this way right uh, from right to left right so at this uh, so the 10 is at what n minus layer and minus 1 and minus 1 if we'll do n minus layer minus 1 and minus 1 so it will become what n minus layer minus 2 that's why we are it is it is only changing this one but row is not going to change because this row is nothing but our n minus layer that we have already seen this one right this one and when we are coming to here right our direction is completed right so this is already completed now the next move will going to change will start from here to here correct so from here to here what is changing we we are going to we are going to up right we are going upside so but what is not changing this is not changing right for the all these this thing as you can see from here to here what is not changing so this column is not changing that is called layer this is this will remain for all the same right as you can see so this will remain same that is not a worry what is going to change that is the row number of row right so if if this is n minus uh, layer so this will become what just will do minus one so it will become n minus layer minus two it will just up will do up here means we are going up right so if we are uh, total number of row is three we are going to row two right if in this case what how many row we have one two three four five so we are going to from row four okay like this we are moving i think you got me right and you understand all the layer how it is moving if you have any doubt please ping me in the comment box so you will get understand right now coming back to the implementation part how we have to understand is see uh, for this layer what is not changing for for, for this one this uh, row is not changing this row is not changing for this one what is not changing this one is not changing right means column is not changing for this one what is not changing this one is not changing right this one is not changing so i have marked all the things and remaining what is changing that we have that we can see so for the direction first right uh, let's suppose uh, from here so if we have n right a number of uh, uh, elements right so three uh, n cross n will do so we are get, doing here n cross n right and we will take one count and uh, for all the layers we'll start from layer 0 and go to n plus 1 by 2 as we have already seen if n equal to 6 it will become 6 plus 1 by 2 it will become 3 right if there is n equal to 3 it will become 2 like this so first of all for going for the direction 1 will come from what left to right for the left to right uh, our pointer will start from what this layer right from at pointer is at here okay and then it will go to n minus 1 here right here at this one we will go right means we have each time it will move like this right each time it will move like this okay we are going to move so here when we come to here we'll add what we what will remain same our layer uh, uh, layer will remain same and what is changing their pointer column is changing right so uh, ptr that is pointer is nothing but our column so column is changing so we'll uh, add the column here and then we'll increment count because we have to start from what uh, one and then we'll go to uh, its last value right so all the value so we'll start from one two three four five like this we'll start right so first 
call first row is going to complete using the first direction you, you can see this is a d1 direction one now coming to direction two from top to bottom one right we are very coming to top to bottom means from the, we are talking about uh, when we'll start from here we, this five is already completed right will not from uh, from d2 will not go to here this is talking about d2 in the d1 we have already completed five so we'll start from here what here to down one right will come to here okay so uh, uh, for this one what is remain same this column will remain same right what is changing the layer uh, row is changing right this is changing right so for this one what we'll do uh, in now this will become layer plus two layer plus three uh, here we will reach at n minus like will go come like this so it will become n minus layer it will become right so the what is changing so row is changing right so i will put layer plus one will two and this is nothing about row it was column here it was in the d1 it was column now this pointer is nothing but our what column so layer is changing each time layer plus one and will go to n minus one layer in the last one will go uh, from layer plus one and to n minus layer will come and then uh, what, what is changing so row is changing so row will uh, row will, will put and what is not changing means column is not changing so this is the column and will count increment plus plus now coming to this one so now in the d2 we have already completed this one now we'll start uh, the d3 so d3 will start from what 10 to 13 right like this we will go so what we have to do while we are going to d3 what is what is changing right so in this case our n layer is not changing right n layer is not changing because this we have already seen we have reached here and we are talking about this row only right so for this row row is not changing what is changing so co column is changing for for the column 10 is at what so uh, 9 is at n minus layer minus 1 if you'll do minus 1 for this column right so this will become what n minus layer minus 2 so we will start from n minus layer minus 2 uh, this will remain uh, this will uh, keep changing while we are moving to 10 11 12 and then 13 so what is changing each time we are decrementing the column from top to down right so here ptr is layer plus one right and it will keep moving okay from right to left and here our uh, uh, what we can say uh, row is remain same and uh, column is changing that will put n, mi n minus ptr minus one and it will increment count okay just we have to focus here only n minus ptr minus one it will become this one coming back to d4 when we are going so in the d3 we have already completed uh, 13 now for d4 will come to 14 to 16 right so when we are going to do direction 4 means d4 bottom to up what is changing right so in this case you can say this is our column one so this column is remain same this one is remain same right and what is changing so layer from layer it was uh, down one n minus layer minus one so now we have to move what n minus layer minus two n minus layer minus one and l like this we will come a layer plus one it will increment each time right so there will be some elements so what is changing so row is uh, updating each time means n minus ptr minus one means uh, pointer is up going up means our uh, row row will decrementing each time right and uh, what is changing what is not changing sorry comma column is not changing so it will remain the same layer and count plus plus so in this way we will fill all the matrix and we have to return the matrix right so what we have to see here is that we will complete all the layers by each time right and what we have to focus here is what is changing what is not changing okay and for the time complexity is talk about so tc will become what so if you see here we are moving all the elements right so if there is n elements we are going with n into n matrix uh, right uh, for the spiral and we have to put all the elements into that so for n into n it become o of uh, sorry so it will come o of what happened so it will become o of n square okay and uh, for time complexity uh, so for, uh, this is your time complexity and if you're talking about space complexity we are not taking any extra spaces so this will become o of one right so thank you guys thank you for watching this video if you like this video, uh, video please hit subscribe this channel so that you get more videos like this thank you guys thank you for watching